week number four. Four weeks in a row that we've been doing Sneaker Mystery Box Fridays. Four weeks strong, and I'm hoping that we continue to do this for the whole year. So hopefully we're able to do that. Keep me accountable for this, guys, because I really want to make sure that we can continue to do this on a weekly basis. Anyway, I got a really good box for you guys today. This one is a new mystery box. It's not from Soul Supremacy. It's not from Soul Steals. It's not from whatever that company's name is that I can't recall. You guys know what it is. Anyway, it's not from either of those stores. This one is actually from a new store called P-Town Kicks. So I'm not sure if you guys have heard of them before. And this is really exciting for me because I want to show you guys more shops that are doing like beater boxes and stuff and hopefully give you guys some examples of like things that you can get in these boxes. So if you guys are interested in a new sneaker mystery box and stay tuned, that is coming up right after this. What is good, sneaker fam? It's your boy, Untied Hawaii, here at P-Town Kicks at Uptown Pond. We are back once again with the sneaker steals and deals, and we are coming in hot with the P-Town Kicks mystery box, $1,000. So if you guys are confused and you guys are wondering what happened to the normal intro, it's because I was trying to do my best Ben Strauss impersonation from Instagram. I don't know if you guys have seen that guy before. P-Town Kicks, he's the owner of Ben Strauss. Really funny guy and he was going kind of viral on Instagram for a little bit, uh, which is actually why I found these boxes. Very cool guy. It seems like he's very funny. It brings the comedy to a sneaker game that could use a little bit more laughs, you know? So I like that about him and I like that they're doing sneaker mystery boxes now. I'm not sure if there's a specific name for these boxes. I think they're just called P-Town Kicks mystery boxes which is far and away a better name than the cool box. So yeah, we're already off to a good start. Anyway, <laughs> let's just get right into it, guys. I'm excited for this one. Okay, first things first, look at how nice that thing is packed. And guys, I have never bought anything from this shop before. They did not reach out to me about like, you know, can you advertise this mystery box or anything like that? I saw the box, somebody tagged me in it. If you guys do see any kind of mystery boxes, feel free to tag me on Instagram at Untied Hawaii, and I might check out the box, depending if the store looks sketchy. Ben looked like a cool guy, so I trust the store. But the main thing is I wanna show you guys examples of a box you've never seen before in case you guys wanna buy. So this is cool how the box is packed. It has like a whole bunch of wrapping paper on the top, but this is what the box will look like when you get down and dirty into the actual shoes. The first box that we do have though is a Jordan 2 box in a size 11.5. And we have a, ooh, this is even wrapped real nice, man. We have a pair of Jordan 2, I think these are called Varsities, something like that. But you guys can check it out over here. It does look slightly used. I mean, the bottoms are a little bit dirty, like very, very minusculely dirty, actually. So I would say this is like a pass as dead stock kind of sneaker. I am not certain what the price of this is. I would assume like hopefully a hundred bucks. And the thing that really caught my attention with like the potential for these mystery boxes is that he prices his shoes like very good, it seems like. When he does those little videos, prices he's showing is actually really good. So I assume that the pricing in this box is gonna be good, but we gotta see. So let's keep going and check it out. Sneaker number two. Um, this one is a Jordan 5 box size 10 and a half. Okay, this looks like a replacement box because we have another Jordan 2 model. You guys can see under the camera over here though, we got like some neon green going on on this shoe. Condition is worn, I would say, but again, this is like another passes dead stock kind of shoe pads. And that's cool because like for a beater box, it's nice that they're not really beaters per se. If they're all like in this kind of condition, that would be really great. Nothing too crazy there though, so let's move on. Okay, next up is another Jordan. Oh, this is a Jordan 6 box. This one is in the nine and a half. Uh, it's a Jordan 6 low though. Are these called chromes? I'm not sure. Jordan 6 low. Um, in very, very clean condition, once again, the suede on the upper is very clean up here. Still has like the little lace lock over here too, which doesn't have any scratching, so another good sign. Pretty solid condition for this one. Not a very hyped shoe, so I don't know about the price of this one, but it is a Jordan, so we're assuming pff, maybe like 100 bucks or something. This box is like very high. <laughs> Next one out, we have a Jordan 11 low box. Uh, this one is in a size 10. Oh, okay, okay. So we have a pair of like snakeskin lows, it looks like, and I believe this one is in dead stock condition. You guys can see over here kind of help me out with this guys Does this look dead stock to you because I think these are very very clean bottom So I'm assuming this is a dead stock sneaker and also like no sock lid on the inside over here So I'm thinking this is a dead stock sneaker. So that's good That'll be a good little boost to the counter up top. This one retailed for 185 bucks I don't think it's going for that much though. All right next out we have a Nike box This one is a air zoom flight the glove size 8.5 This one over here is one of those shoes where you can zip up and down kind of cool little aesthetic over here um, but it is a used sneaker. Everything else looks not too bad though. So, um, but these have sneaky value. So you never know. There are people that really enjoy this model. So yeah, we'll see about that one. So far guys, not very hyped on this. It's a lot of like more obscure shoes. We haven't even seen any Jordan ones or like Yeezys and stuff yet. So I don't know, let's keep going. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just when I was saying we didn't see any Yeezys yet, we pull out a Yeezy 700 box. This one is a size 12, and it is a pair of Yeezy 700 Inertias. Uh, the bottoms are pretty dirtied up. On the top over here, there's some pretty heavy toe box creasing. Insides look fine though, and the rest of the shoe, I don't see any markings or anything, so it's not terrible. Um, the Inertias aren't going for a lot of money dead stock, because so I'm assuming these aren't going for much used too, but it's just still fetch 200 something bucks, so this is like one of the better boosts of the counter so far. Okay, two shoes left in here. Uh, this one is a pair of, oof, another pair of the gloves in a size eight and a half. This one isn't a white version though. So, oh, interesting. This one has like some neon green kind of vibes. I like that, that's cool. So you know it's been definitely worn. Um, bottoms are pretty worn too. I would say maybe less than a hundred bucks for this one, so. Not great value there either. A lot of very obscure shoes. I'm not feeling it thus far, guys. The last shoe in here, ah. this one is cool. I've never seen this kind of box before, so I'm not sure what this is. Oh, Kubo 15. This will be cool if this is actually the shoe. You guys can see over here, this is the box though. Pretty unique, man. Uh, it has like some kind of like Chinese kind of vibes to it. And you also pull it out like this. This is kind of dope, dude. This is dope. I've never seen this in person. So on one side, so this is the sneaker bag that it comes with. One side, it has like this little beetle thing you can see. And then on the other side, it's blue and it has like this kind of scorpion thing. And as for the shoe itself, okay. And as for the shoe itself, it looks like this might be a dead stock condition. So you guys can see under the light over here, this one is the right shoe that has like that scorpion thing again. I don't even know if that's a scorpion, some kind of floating skeleton thing. <laughs> and it has very unique vibes. You can see Tinker Hatfield in the back over here. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be signed like this. I'm kind of freaking out. I think, are they supposed to be signed? What the heck? On the other side over here is the red pair though. You guys can see that little beetle up here. Um, and bottoms look completely clean. So again, this is like a dead stock sneaker, it seems like. Kubo is from that movie, Kubo and the Two Strings. And I remember that these pairs were being auctioned off. And that's why I'm kind of freaking out. Because again, you guys see Tinker's like signature over here. And I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be for the auction pairs only. Let me pull it up right now though, because I'm like freaking out over here. So I just looked it up and this is the one that was auctioned off for charity. It was like an animated movie and it was actually very good. So if you guys haven't seen it, I recommend it. But Tinker Hatfield and Jordan work with like this company on like every single release, I think for like their type of movies. I think it's that Leica company or something like that. They just did the Air Max Susans um, and they did things like the Coraline before. And I also believe that's the same company that did the Paranormans. Anyway, for charity, Tinker Hatfield and Matthew McConaughey, I believe they did this on, um, I can't remember what website it was, but they sold signed shoes of of like the Jordan 15 as like promotion for the movie and just like I said for charity I think that total there was like a thousand pairs made for the sneaker and I'm not sure how many of these are signed but this is sick look at that that's Tinker Hatfield signature guys the Tinker put his hand on this shoe so that is pretty cool man you don't see that every single day and with that that is the end of the p-town kicks mystery box so that is sick dude like the whole box was confusing up until the very end Ben brought the heat I guess on this one because I was not expecting a Kubo 15 that is a rare shoe in itself and to have the signed copy of one of those shoes that is crazy i only wish that it was like in a size 10 and a half or 11. as i'm going through this video i actually remember now i started to put bids on these things and i never won obviously because they were going for like crazy amounts of money but it was for charity so i think a lot of like bigger like celebrities or whatever were bidding so it was like in the thousands i don't know if it's that much anymore but it would be cool if it was anyway the value must be pretty solid on this box because this pair alone could potentially be $1,000. So I would say that the box looks good. I would say that we should try again to see, you know, was this just like a one-time thing or do they have the potential to continue to do this kind of stuff? Because you guys should never run out and buy like mystery boxes off of one video, you know? You wanna do your research, you wanna have other people look at boxes as well. This is what a box should look like if you guys buy from P-Town Kicks. But again, let's try to open up a couple more before we start like getting too hyped over it. But it's hard not to get hyped when you get stuff like this though, signed. Shoes by Tinker Hatfield. I think I might have to keep this even though it's a size 12. We'll see, man. This is crazy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Feel free to check out P-Town Kicks down below. I'll put their website and I'll also put Ben Strauss's Instagram on there. Do hit that follow button for Ben because, dude, he's very funny. Even if you guys don't want to cop shoes from there, just watching the videos and stuff, it gets me pumped because you don't see that kind of like energy in the sneaker game, to be honest, man. All of these shop owners and stuff try to be like super chill and super cool and like, I guess, like kind of brooding figures. But Ben, you know, he's a happy-go-lucky guy, dude. He makes it fun and he makes it funny. So I think that's cool 
in itself. If you guys want to see more P-Town Cakes mystery boxes, then let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to try another one for you guys. Hopefully we can get something crazy like this, but we got to see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching week number four of Sneaker Mystery Box Fridays. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe down below. Hit that like button if you guys want to see more videos like this. And until next time, guys, stay humble, stay blessed, take care. I will see you on the next video. Aloha. Shoots.